Hey guys, welcome back to Film Title. Today we'll talk about 7 insane facts about Squid Game. Let's head into it. Number 1. It was supposed to be a movie. The idea was originally conceived as a full picture. According to the inventor in an interview with Variety, given Huang's history in film, this isn't surprising. Silence and the Fortress, for example, were both written and directed by him. He was also the screenwriter and director of Miss Granny, a musical comedy that is largely regarded as one of Korea's most successful films of all time. In a still-watching Netflix YouTube video, Huang also also stated that the original film did not feature the police detective Jun Ho. Ji Young, the woman who gave her life for Sei Byok, was initially intended to be a male character. Ji Young's gender was changed by Huang because a link between women would make more sense. Number 2. The phone number was real. A South Korean presidential candidate allegedly paid a Korean man 100 million won, or about $85,000, in exchange for his phone number, which has been inundated with calls since appearing in Netflix's new series Squid Game. Squid Game is a fictional Korean drama series, in which players battle for a chance to win 45.6 billion won, or $38.7 million. In a secret survival game that turns children's pastimes into lethal traps, Netflix's co-CEO Ted Sarandos told Vox Media's Code Conference that the series has a very good chance of becoming the service's most popular show. After taking the top place globally, multiple people are given business cards containing an 8-digit number that gets competitors involved in the survival game in the episode. According to the South China Morning Post, an unnamed man living in Gyeongju province in South Korea told the broadcaster NBC that the phone number used in the show was his own and that he was receiving about 4,000 phone calls a day from children who wanted to be in the game. Unaware that it was fictional, the owner of the phone number told NBC that he initially mistook the calls for spam until he learned that his number has been used in the Netflix series. He claimed he was receiving phone calls, text messages, and images all night, but he couldn't change his phone number because he had been using it for 10 years and it was related to his business. Number 3. One of the challenges is now a TikTok trend. The TikTokers were motivated by the challenge with Dalgona Sweets, a form of honeycomb toffee, to make their own version. The candy is made out of two simple ingredients, sugar and baking soda, but the real challenge is eating around the imprinted image without destroying it. The production staff and I would joke about our series initiating a Dalgona craze, similar to how Netflix's Kingdom did with a gap, the director told the Korea Times. Number 4. The last episode has a real-life news report. Won told the Sunday Times that he wanted to emphasize the reality of Korean families as much as possible throughout the series, so he utilizes a real-life news item in the last episode. In the episode, a news announcer declares, household debt in this country is rising rising faster than the global average. Apart from China, it is the largest increase in the world as a result of the government's lifting of limits on financial lending. According to Huang, this news item is from a few years ago, and debt is now ballooning due to the coronavirus. Number 5. Squid Game is Jung Ho Yoon's acting debut. Jung's first acting job was as North Korean pickpocket Kang Se Byok. She has previously worked as a model and appeared on the cover of Vogue magazine and in the fourth season of Korea's Next Top Model. Since her presence on the show, the model has amassed millions millions of fans and is now Korea's most popular actress. During a still-watching Netflix analysis video, Squid Game creator Huang stated, Chung's audition tape felt like a gift sent from God. He said Ho Yoon looked just like the same Byok I was looking for. Number 6. Lee Jung Jae helped humanize Squid Game protagonist. Lee Jung Jae offered advice on how to make Ji Hun the kind of person viewers saw according to the Squid Game developer. Lee, according to Huang, suggested a scene in the first episode where Ji Hun feeds a stray cat some freshly caught mackerel. Lee provides Ji Initial Hun's conversation with Chung's character, Se Byok, on one episode, according to Huang, when he continued failing to put the straw in her drink cup after knocking it and her over. He said Lee had her break character and laugh on video. The final version included that clip, as well as an image of Jung laughing. Number 7. Huang originally wanted the masked guards to look like Boy Scouts. In the still-watching Netflix video, Huang also claimed that he wanted the masked guards to wear a Boy Scout-like uniform at first, but that it displayed the men's body too clearly. He added that he envisioned the guards as ants in a colony. The masks were influenced by traditional Korean masks, such as the Ha Hoetol and fencing masks, according to Shay. We added a line to it during the process, which made it look like an ant's face, which was the final design, she explained. The CEO's dazzling animal masks are also crucial. The masks also enabled them portray themselves as extremely powerful beasts to represent the power elite, the global CEOs, according to Huang. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.